Now I want, I want y'all to know everybody know my children. Everybody. In my time, everybody know my children. Everybody. My daughter drives a Mercedes. What? My daughter drives a Mercedes. 23 years old, still live with me. Drive a Mercedes. I just bought my boy a new Lexus. What? New Lexus. My little boy, he drives a convertible. He's 17 years old, he just got a, he got a new convertible. What? They all know my children. He said, I increase you more and more. You and your children. We got everything. We got the gifts of the Spirit. We got the Holy Ghost. Uh, we got healing. Man, we got to have some money. What? Your healing will get a little attention. But ain't nothing gonna get attention like this money gonna get boy. These worldly folks understand money, honey, when we get our money, they come in. What? If you want your loved ones saved, let the Lord prosper you. They're gonna understand when you start walking in money. What? In money and walking in the blessing of God. Hey! <laughs> you want your family saved, get your money. What? They're gonna come an anointing in here tonight. They're gonna grab you like you've never been grabbed before and shake every ounce of poverty out of you and you'll never be broke another day in your life. You are going to get your money tonight. You're going to get revelation. You're going to get anointed. You're going to get understanding tonight. You're going to get your revelation. Brother, what you come here for? What you come here for? You, you come here to get, get what God got for you, didn't you? I hollered to Mr. Cruffalo last night. I almost lost my voice. Hollering for him. <clears throat> Give me some water. Don't be all night. What? Don't be all night. Now to Abraham, verse 16. <laughs> but as of one and to thy seed, which is Christ. Now look at the 29th verse. Obedience is the key that unlocks prosperity. You're always going to have somebody barking at you. You're always going to have somebody persecuting you. That come along with it. But just put your one up and go on to the bank. I don't have no problem. They persecute me. You try to persecute me. I put my one up in my road. No, put it down till I get to the bank teller and I hit that button. The air blowing all upside your head, and I just, I just, I just turn my money. In. Then if I don't want to do it with my road, I just get my convertible Mercedes and check the top down already. Now you can't handle that, bro. See, you got to fly with the eagle, baby. I'm trying to get you to fly with the eagle. I'm trying to tell you I'm an eagle. I'm not just some, I'm no bird trick. I'm not no chicken, baby. I've, I've been to the land. I have some grapes. Ooh, he, what he got? I ain't told you much, baby. My horse name increased. My horse, the personal horse I ride, I have five horse, quarter horse. My son horse man, millionaire. My my elder son, he ride a horse called Big Timer. Yes, I got a sixteen thousand dollar dog. What? Yes, I got a sixteen thousand dollar, sixteen thousand dollar, sixteen thousand dollar dog, a dog, a dog, sixteen thousand dollar dog that watches my wife. I was looking in a book. I saw a man with a jet like mine. The white boy standing by a jet. He had his family. He had a nice car. He had a pretty little girl playing with a big pretty dog. And I kept reading. And I saw that you can buy those dogs. And I wanted, and they said the dog will watch the house and take care of your family. I said, I got the money. I'm getting my wife one of these dogs. If somebody try to go in there, all that dog gonna eat them up. 
that dog understand three languages. I ain't talking no much. When the doorbell ring at the front, that dog know the difference between the front doorbell child and the back door. The first person you meet, or the first object you meet, or the first power you meet when you come to my house, is Tim. When me and my wife lay down, he lay right at the foot of the bed. You better not come in that house. You can't buy no dog like that for $400. <laughs> the movie star's been had it, baby, don't worry. See, somebody got to go there. Let me help you, baby. Somebody got to go there. Somebody got to go there before you recognize you can go there. What? What'd you get upset about that for? What's your broke self? What? What's your broke self? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Man, I know that's $16 out of dog. Baby, let me tell you something. I paid my due. You don't judge a man harvest until you see his seed. And I give my seeds assignment. You better write that down. You need to give every seed you plant an assignment. All right. And don't let pressure off that sucker until it come back with what you sent it for. All right. All right. I receive it. Give it a sign. See if you can't stand my prosperity. You can't stand my sixteen thousand dollar dog. You'll never get in. The Lord ain't letting no miser in. See, if you can't stand to see your neighbor blessed. You'll never get blessed. He told Abraham, "I'll Christ those that curse you." When you see somebody in the car like you want, <laughs> you might have a son who gone astray, but when you get your money and move in a new neighborhood, he's going to come back home just to check things out. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you get anointed, a gate fly wide open and things constantly come to you. They bring it and don't know why they bring it, but you're putting some money magnet and you begin to draw it. Hey. Hey. I know some of y'all get real deep. Talking about it's about love, ain't about no money. You just get married in love. And you mad a woman and wake up next morning and say, honey, it's just about love. I don't have no money, no job. It's just about love. <laughs> Some of these women, women stressed out right now. You ain't bringing a big enough check home. What? You ain't bringing a big enough check home. And tell them, honey, honey, have it. I know because I did that to Carolyn. Have it, have it, have it. Have it, honey. I don't even know what's going on. My wife under pressure. I don't know why she's under pressure. She, she ain't had enough money, that's why she was under pressure. What? Mess your love life all up. Mess your bedroom up, mess everything up. You, when you're broke, everything messed up. Nobody won't make no love broke. Get <laughs> some money, man. Get some money, then we make some love. Get some money. Get me in a bigger house. 